talking about team building now. Every coach wants to do something to build trust. But I find extremely critical and, and valuable with all the different teams that I've coached and all the different uh, coaches and mentors that I've learned for is being vulnerable. So this, this team building exercise, we're talking about, you probably heard it before, one word that symbolizes who you are right now. One word that you would say, you know, this is me. So one, you're trying to get to know your athlete. Two, you get up in front of the whole team, you share your current one word. And that you'll see in this video, I give an example of when I first heard this when I was 22, about to be an intern at AM. and And then my one word right now, 37, father of three, business owner, that drastically, those words change. You change, life is dynamic, but speak from the heart. You'll earn their respect in the way and make sure that you set up, you see we have different groups set up so these, these athletes actually can open up and what? Use their words to find out who they truly are and open up a little bit. This is an awesome little team building exercise. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Man, okay, we're gonna do 20, 25 minutes of team building. As you guys know, we don't mess around with that stuff. Extremely critical for us to take our next step being a big time program, to get to know each other, so we trust each other, so we connect with each other. First thing we're gonna do, team building wise, for you guys who missed this, we did this twice already, but we didn't have the full team. The goal, the intent here, the intent here of what we're missing and taking the next step is getting to know each other, right? Only thing I know about Rick and Taylor, and this is my fault as a coach, is that he, what, what do you live 40 minutes away? 40 minutes away? You move closer? How far how long you live now? Six minutes away? Nice! How many brothers and sisters you got? Three sisters? Older or younger? Two older or younger? Two older or younger? Three. They take care of you and help. So that's the soul. I know none of that about Ricky until right now. As a coach or as a big time program, we got to start knowing each other. When you start to trust each other, get to know each other a little bit, I promise you, I promise you, when it gets hard, like it's going to be hard. I promise you we're going to be down by 10 or more points sometime this year. Happens every year. Really good teams, really tight teams, they're able to respond and fight because they care about each other and they know each other, all right? Today is today's what we're going to do. What I, I actually had this one time when I was about to be an intern at Texas a I was a 22-year-old knucklehead at Illinois State. I had uh, the director, sports performance director. She's still there. She's still at AM 17 years later. Send me an email. It's like Coach Kano, or not Coach, I wasn't a coach yet. It said Michael Kano. It's like, give me one word about you. What represents you? At 22, I, I you know, way different than I am right now. But 15 years ago, the one word I, I thought of was loyalty. I thought loyalty. I wrote loyalty. I thought, you know, at that time, my boys, my guys, they would, if there was a, if there was a trouble, if they needed a dude in the alley, I'd be that dude. If they need someone to help them move. I'd be that guy. So that was my word at that time, right? Now in my life at 37, drastically different, man. I still think I'm loyal, but to be honest with you, my word probably right now, it's like in between inspired and served. Inspired and served. I really feel like, you know, when I think of serve, I think it's if I do my best, I put myself in a situation to serve you guys. And so far in my life, one of the biggest things I've taken home, Randall, the more you give as a coach, the more questions you ask, the more time you invest, you always get more back. You always get more back. And it's like that business, it's like that in teaching, and it's it's like that as, as kind of friends, right? I'm gonna let you guys take a minute, two minutes. Remember this, what you say in this room stays in this room. And two, Luke, we talk, we always as a staff, we go over this shit. It's not like, oh, we just go against the wall and hope it sticks. We talk about it, Luke brought up a great point. If somebody, if you guys in a group and I, and say Iris says toughness, that what rep, rep, rep represents me, it's all right if Turner says the same shit. Because guess what? We're from different backgrounds, man. Together, as a team, we're gonna start learning how to talk with each other and respect each other. So make sure you pay respect to each other when they speak. Make sure we have each other's back. That's what this is about.